News Live at 5 starts now. CEO Compensation. The executive leader of Valley Children's Hospital is facing criticism after it's revealed he's making a multi-million dollar salary. And thanks for joining us tonight for Action News Live at 5. Good evening, I'm Warren Armstrong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. Fresno City leaders are now calling for an investigation into CEO Todd Suntropak's compensation package. Action News reporter Gabe Ferris is at the live desk with the allegations made today against the hospital and what Valley Children's is saying in response. Gabe. Warren and Graciela, how much is too much? That's the debate in the Valley tonight. Tax documents show Suntrapac made more than $5 million in 2021, and now there's mounting criticism related to a loan for a new home on the coast that was given to him by the hospital. Some very shocking and disturbing revelations related to Valley Children's Hospital. Outrage at Fresno City Hall Wednesday over multiple reports out this week detailing the compensation of Valley Children CEO Todd Suntrapak. Tax documents obtained by Action News reveal that in 2021, Suntrapak received more than $5.1 million in compensation. A breakdown of his benefit shows a $1.7 million base salary with an additional $3.4 million in bonuses and more. On top of that, the nonprofit leader received a $5 million loan for a new home. Reports say it's in Carmel. The tax preparer writing the loan was a, quote, retention incentive in lieu of other compensation. The whole package now leading two Fresno City Council members to call for an investigation. That is why I'm calling for California Attorney General Rob Bonta to investigate how these state dollars are being spent. Today I'm asking for the Joint Legislative Audit Committee and we'll be submitting this in writing to its member of the Central Valley Assembly member Jim Patterson to launch an audit of Valley Children's. Council members Gary Bredefeld and Miguel Arias alleging Valley Children's uses hospital proceeds to fund executive salaries, alleging some of that money came from public health care reimbursements like Medi-Cal. Their 2021 tax returns demonstrate that they made a $354 million profit that year alone. Why isn't that money going to expand the emergency room, to hire more doctors and nurses, to process kids who are sleeping in the emergency room? Responding to those claims, the chair of Valley Children's Board of Trustees released a statement Wednesday. The Central Valley has built one of the nation's premier children's hospitals, board chair Michael Hansen said. In doing so, we have recruited and retained some of America's best executives, caregivers, and team members. As such, the quality of our care and the fiscal management of our organization is and continues to be best in class. PR firm AMF Media Group has been contracted by Valley Children's and is defending the hospital. During a radio interview with ABC 30 media partner KMJ on Tuesday, AMF CEO Vintage Foster said the hospital changed its bonus schedule in 2021, so Suntrapak received two bonuses in one calendar year, but no bonus the following year. If you take that one point, I'm going to round up 1.6 in executive bonus pay, which the hospital and its executives earned, and his base, Todd really brought home an income, about three, $3.2 uh, million, not $5 million. As the hospital pushes back on the council members' claims, Assemblyman Jim Patterson already stymieing Arias and Bredefeld's calls for an investigation. Despite calls to audit Valley Children's Hospital, the state has no authority to demand information on the executive salary and compensation of a private nonprofit, Patterson said. Any audit would only focus on programs and funding the hospital receives from the state. Four other Valley Children's ex executives made over $1 million in 2021, all of them senior vice presidents at the hospital. At the Live Desk, I'm Gabe Ferris, ABC 30 Action News.